Okay, so in sunny Canberra, surprisingly, uh, it's actually quite warm today. And what we're about to do is head over to Darren's house. Darren is a, a fellow collector I found on a Facebook group uh, for Star Wars collectors. And he has a massive uh, three three quarter inch vintage collection. He is going back to the real vintage stuff like we're talking about the late 70s. It's nice to be able to find um, I suppose figures that are loose, I'm collecting 3 3 quarter inch now, other than the 6 inch stuff, to fill my gaps in my collection. It's convenient to be able to find all the figures that you want in the one space. I went there yesterday and had a look and basically put some items aside, but you have to see his collection, it's massive. It's quite overwhelming actually uh, when you have a collector that hardcore. One of the things about traveling as well is that you are able to meet different collectors and different people, and so that's always enjoyable. Where Pretty close, I'm gonna check that out in a second, so yeah. Okay guys, so we're here with Darren Hearn. He's a fellow collector, and we're currently now in his house in Belconen, and I'm here to buy lots of stuff. So Darren, <laughs> you are just as crazy as I am. Uh, well, a little, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. let's take us through. What have you got laid out on? Uh, on okay, let's, the, have, a look. let's well, have a look. Yeah. It's all just modern, original trilogy only. Yeah. I don't collect anything uh, besides those movies. All my extras I'm hoping to get rid of to you. You see you got it all laid out there on the bench? Yes. Crazy. Well, as I spoke to you last night, my going back to vintage collecting, like original stuff from the 80s and whatnot. And um, yeah, so I just got no use for it. So so tell us a bit about why you've got this here on this bench, on this yep. dining table, and what you got over there. Okay, well, <laughs> well I'm hoping that's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see these guys. It's painstakingly put together for him this morning. Yeah. And then the rest is basically... Yeah, it was just showing what was what I was hoping to get rid of as well. Talk about customer service. Well, collectors, it's collector to a collector, so yeah. as we know, it's always different. We take like take a lot of care with our stuff, so yeah. Well, okay, so Darren, what's the damage? Okay, the damage is eight hundred and thirty, which is it's hurting me to uh <laughs> to let go of it all, but it's going to a good guy. So as you can see, you can see a whole bunch of figures, all basically from the vintage collection, so they're all fully articulated. These are Rebel Commandos, you know, to everyone that knows, knows that these are, they're missing a lot of stuff. I tried to um, just create different versions because they all come out generic like that. Mm. And I was still trying to do the indoor scene. So you did some head swaps there, right? A lot of head swaps, a lot of missing gear, swapping gear around, mm -hmm. like, you know, a lot of mismatch stuff. Okay. Same with the troopers. You can all see they're all, they're all different, got different pauldrons and gear. Try to match it up for uh, Clinton so he gets a good variety of gear. Some gems here, which is, I know people will be drooling over. Now, what's this two-pack here? Ah, uh, yeah, this was from the 30th anniversary of Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Actually come in a box, which I will have for you somewhere here, which you, you can take away with you. Mm -hmm. We've got, obviously, all here Imperial uh, Naval Troopers, Imperial Gunners, a whole heap of Hoth Troopers, Rebel Troopers, Bespin. These guys are from the deleted scenes out of uh, Return of the Jedi. They actually manned the Millennium Falcon with Nia Numb and Lando Calrissian, a few biker scouts, a Hoth radar and turret gun, the Rebel Transport and well, that's self explanatory, the officers there. No speeder, a few more biker scouts. Jabba's diorama, a prize Tauntaun, which is very hard to get hold of. That's the hand version, part of um, the Luke Skywalker pack. And a few other guys. And, um, and the Slave One. And the Slave One. Yeah, yeah. I bought this and um, all the, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people do it as well. Yeah. Keep all the packing with it. Yeah. So you can see, pretty much, Whoa. that's pretty much how it looked. Mm. As I got it, mm. and then in here, yeah, there's that there, and then there's oh, you I chucked, chucked in. You chucked in Boba Fett. Yeah, so there's the Boba Fett. Yep. So I put him in extra, and then yeah, nice. that's basically how it looks. Even sort of, it's got the original stickers. Yeah. So you applied the stickers, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. This was mine. Yeah. What started this madness? For me buying all this stuff was really that slave one. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I put it up on um, on, a, on a Facebook page and it yeah, contacted me and then yeah, here we are, months later. Actually, <laughs> you, very patient man, Clint. Yeah, <laughs> and I gotta say you're a gentleman too because you kept your word and instead of selling it, you, you did keep it and yeah. say it was mine. Well look, I mean, you know, it's a collector to a collector, we all, and I don't like scalping, I don't like um, ripping other collectors off. Um, we're, all in, we're all in it together. Mm. And it's sharing a passion and yeah, we're just sort of, it's like we're just shifting all this stuff around amongst one another. Yeah. And um, yeah, we look after each other, so. And, and what are your thoughts on, I mean, because you, you you bought all this stuff to do your dioramas as yeah. well, right? But what are your thoughts on scalping though? I mean, that's, uh... Uh, look, I'm opposed to it. Yeah, I've never liked it. It ruins collecting, it, it really does. You know, you know, guys like me and yourself want to go to shops mm. and they've just gutted things. They're like parasites, they're like making a living off, off us collectors. You know? mm. and, I mean, we do it because we love it and there's others that do it to make money out of it. So. 
but have no interest in it whatsoever to make money or fund their own things, which look, I've got no issue with stuff increasing in value and, and you, you sell it at a fair price, but, but ripping people off directly, no, I don't, I don't like it, never have.